Among the numbers and information to come out of the City County Health District's daily briefings at City Hall is one shocking number that put Nueces County in the national headlines this past weekend. During last Friday's briefing, Health Director Annette Rodriguez talked about the fact that 85 babies under the age of one year have tested positive for COVID-19. Then on Saturday, Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales sent out a news release clarifying that we did not have a sudden surge of babies testing positive, that this was a cumulative number. But it still left many people asking, why has it taken this long to hear about the number of babies affected? Our Nora Pettis got some answers for us today. Because of that newborn, I was actually scratching my head and I was actually thinking, I wonder how many babies we have here. Annette Rodriguez, director of the Nueces County Public Health District, says a recent case of a newborn baby testing positive for COVID-19 prompted her to look more closely at cases in children under the age of 24 months. When she made the announcement, 85, the public was understandably shocked and confused. Why, after weeks of testing and data coming from the health department, was nothing said about these babies? It has to do with how positive cases are documented in Nueces County and across the state. Numbers are classified under different age brackets, the youngest group being persons 19 years of age and younger. Specific numbers for specific groups, such as school-aged children or children under the age of two, are not recorded unless the local health department takes action. When you have 25 cases over 90 days, it doesn't look like any kind of a trend. When you have 60 cases in 16 days, there's a trend there. And your health director found it. Judge Barbara Canales says she heard the news when the rest of us did at the health department's community briefing on Friday. And while shocking, the fact that 85 young children have tested positive in our county points to a bigger picture. It's meant to drive home a very important, valid point that anybody is susceptible to COVID-19. Rodriguez says her department is in the process of updating their system. And once it's operational in about two weeks, we should get more specific and useful data. And hopefully, that will help all of us have a greater understanding of this catastrophic situation. I think what's more important is how do you combat this virus? And what does this virus actually cause, you know? And what are the long-term effects of the virus? I think those are more important than a lot of the data questions that are specific to just the statistical number, you know? I want to know about this virus so that we can know how, you know, to combat it. That's what I want to know. Nora Bettis, 3 News.